हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस मोसी प्रॉब्लम लॉन्गेस्ट स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग और स्ट्रिक्टली डिक्रीजिंग सब आर ऑल दो इट इज ईजी सॉरी इट इज ईजी एंड वी डू यूजली डोंट हैव ईजी प्रॉब्लम्स बट इट हैज ऑप्टिम सोल्यूशन ऑल्सो विच यू शुड बी नोइंग फॉर शॉप सो इट सिंपली सीज दट यू गिवन एन एरिया ऑफ इंटीजर कॉल एज नम्स एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न द लॉन्गेस्ट सब आर ए विच इज इधर इंक्रीजिंग और स्ट्रिक्टली डिक्रीजिंग so one very naive way is you generate all the sub arrays you know for sure so far that we have n square sub arrays and then for every sub array or basically for every portion of the array which you will get from here you have to just quickly have a check if it is increasing or decreasing or not which means if you have let's say these five elements in the sub array again it can be a big sub array also but let's say you have just five elements in the sub array you will have to check okay it is strictly increasing or not how we check it nums of i should be more than nums of i minus 1 for all these elements starting from this index and same way if nums of i is less than nums of i minus 1 for all the index starting from here itself then if any of the condition is true which means it is it is r good or basically it is a strictly increasing or strictly decreasing sub array and i will have to just maximize the length or basically i just have to get the longest sub array now it will take o of n square to just generate all sub arrays and o of n to find that sub array is strictly increasing or not it will be o of n cube can we improvise it yeah maybe we can what we have seen earlier in earlier kind of videos is that in these kind of situations when we have o of n square and o of n operation we are doing after generating the sub array we can club these two conditions which means while generating the sub array itself which means okay this is i this is j then your j will increase then your j will increase so you are actually moving your j forward so this will be your sub array so i will just have to maintain okay i and j if this is a good sub array and what i mean by good is either this strictly increasing or decreasing then okay for sure check the previous one if it was good then okay i just had one more element so with this fact as i will use and I'm, as i'm making my sub array i'm parallelly keep on checking if it is increasing or decreasing with this i can also achieve a o of n square algorithm now uh, we have usually seen this kind of small optimization which you will just tell the interviewer you will not code this up in an interview because you don't have time for easy problems to code all this up now you know that you can improvise it to o of n square now can you improvise it to o of n how we can do it simply if a something if i have some again if i will take some random pattern if i know if something is increasing okay as you can see something is increasing or maybe something can be decreasing or maybe something can be same that is the only possible option in the entire array i just have to get this length this length this length and this okay this length is not required for me because i want strictly i want strictly what is there for sure so why if i know i can maintain okay what is the length so far of the strictly increasing sub array strictly increasing array okay now it became decreasing okay so i will get that count and keep it somewhere else how i will do it simply i know let's take okay i have just taken a big array and i will just maintain okay what is the longest increasing or maybe if i start getting decreasing elements then i'll say okay what is the longest decreasing so i will go on to this okay four But four has nothing backwards, so I cannot compare him with anything. So by default, for a value which is in the very beginning, I will say okay, length so far. In again, I have two variables called as increasing length and decreasing length. R and Y have two variables. You can take one also, but that it is how you implement it. I have so far mentioned I will maintain variable called as increasing length, and I will maximize have a maximum length as an answer. So I will have a maximum length, maximum length. which i will have to maximize again this maximum length is the maximum of existing maximum length which ever i have or increasing length or decreasing length increasing length or decreasing length so this is the maximum length which i have so far in the very beginning increasing decreasing length both are one now i am at i i compare with i minus 1 i minus 1 i i minus 1 i Number of i is more than number of i minus one. Six is more than four. So increasing length will increase. So increasing length was one. It will increase plus two. Like pl I'll do a plus one. So increasing length will become one. Again, my i will shift. Now my i is here. I minus one is here. Eight is more than six. Again, increasing length will increase. Increasing length will increase. Okay, increasing has has become two. Has become three. 
but make sure at every step please keep on maximizing your answer which is the maximum length you will keep on maximizing that answer now i have my i here is my i minus one. Oh, r in decrease so what so what what do you, what, what will you do will you do you know that so far the decreasing length is two you know again like if you just saw what i mentioned i looked at the chat uh yeah, I have to do some work now, <laughs> but cool, no worries. Um, I'm seeing office work, but yeah, you can see that it is decreasing. Okay, length has been has become two, so I cannot just say that, bro. Um, I'll just say decreasing as I'll not initialize my decreasing by one. I'll say, okay, so far I have my decreasing as one, so R and I will simply increase my decreasing. Okay, if you are saying so, let us let us let us do it. I I took my whatsoever decreasing I had previously, I just took that decreasing and I increased by one because for sure I and I, I minus one was there. But did you see one thing? I and I minus one, I compared with I minus one, but I'm taking the decreasing very standard previous, very beginning value of previous. I'm taking this. It, it seems not correct, but still, let us assume so far by visible eyes, answer is going good. Okay, cool, no worries. I is here, then you will compare I minus one. Oh, decreasing again you will decrease the value but make sure parallelly keep on increasing your answer keep on maximizing your length now um, your i is there you will say okay ah nine is more than six so what if, what will you do will you have the previous increasing value and just add a plus one it will become a three plus one four but you saw that your current increasing value is nothing but only two so you realize that bro i mean bro i realize that at this point of decreasing I should have by default restarted or basically re-given the value of increasing as one, which means so far the increasing length is one. As I can simply see it is decreasing so far. So increasing length because one element itself is increasing length of one, decreasing, le 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 decreasing length of one. So this I will make sure, okay, I'm making sure increasing length of one is this, increasing length of one is this. So this increasing length has been changed to one, has been changed to one. This is, this is what I was referring that when you have your hair when you have this decreasing length okay you are increasing but decreasing length will still remain one will still remain one because it will help me whenever i will actually encounter started i will start encountering decreasing element then i will actually be able to decrease my elements here i am able to now easily increase my elements so i increase it to two now okay simply i i minus one this i minus one nine nine it is neither decreasing nor increasing so okay reset the values both of them I simply both of them added a reset. Now i is here. Now i minus one is here. Now again, check eleven is more than nine. Okay, increasing will increase by one. So increasing was one, increase by one. I will get a two. So this is how you ended up getting increasing or decreasing maximum values, and thus maximize your answer at every step. So here your answer would have been one. Here two. Here three. Here again answer still would have been remain as three. Here again three, two, one like two but again uh three would have been maximum so your answer would have been still maximum as three thus your maximum answer is three code it's pretty simple if you look at the code you will have the maximum length which is the answer you have increasing length decreasing length you will check okay I, as you can see in the very beginning i did not take from i equal to zero i take from i equal to one i checked the previous value if nums of i is more than nums of i minus one which means it is increasing so do a increasing length plus plus make sure to reset your decreasing length to one because it will be helpful future in, in future and same way if your numbers of i is less than numbers of i minus one simply decrease the length and reset the increasing length to one if both of them condition are not there which means my element values are equal then reset both of them both of them are reset and thus i can maximize my answer which is the maximum length or my increasing length or, or my decreasing length whosoever is maximum get that maximum value and thus in o of n time and no space at all you can simply solve it and that's the most optimal solution now if you are confused about the run times which lead code is giving just go and watch the short link which i have given below in description in which i have shown that how fake the lead code run time is and you should never believe it cool bye bye take care do watch it